be spelled right. It doesn't matter whether they pronounce it. We right. have with us Edwardsville and head coach Larry Blade. She's brought brought along with her number 12 junior guard Lauren White, sophomore guard number 13 Courtney Dunbar, and junior forward number 32 Imoni Henderson. Coach, if you'd give us your uh, thoughts on the ball game, then you um, take some questions. I, I thought we did a good job on the boards and. Uh, contesting their shots um, and rushing their shots. I, I thought our defense was solid as, you, as it has been throughout and uh, it was important for us to dominate the boards like we did. Question? Eight tries to get the, the quarterfinal <laughs> victory. Only made it one for this one. Um, you know what? It just comes down to who's playing well at the time. Sometimes it comes down to the draw. We, we've been on both ends of it. so. Um, you know what, and I know we have a tough task ahead, but I'm proud of this group for the run that they've put together and the season that they've had. I don't think that they realize yet what they've accomplished, um, but I, I'm awfully proud of what they've done together. You know, you just talk about taking advantage of your guys' size and size. I mean, it's a natural given talent, so I try to use it to the best of my ability. And, you know, I just carry my teammates along with me, and they help me out a lot. When you see on the other team, they're a small team like that, do you think? <laughs> yes, I really do think that, but you know, you can't underestimate any team. I mean, they're small, but certain small people are also quick, so you know, never underestimate them. Quaid Young, have you played them in the summer, some of those kids before? Uh, with them at all? No, not really. Oh, okay, okay. Whitney Young, you haven't? Whitney yeah. Young, I have. That's what I meant. So. Oh, yes, I have yeah. experience with Whitney Young. Yeah. Okay. 32, key, all of them. Lock them down. I mean, you got to hold down the number, I mean, the point guard, number 11. So, Courtney, the game was 12 to 9. It kind of came back and you went on your own little run, a couple three pointers and a jumper. Just just talk about that. Um, well, um, we came down, and, you know, when I'm open, I try to hit threes, and that's pretty much my job on the floor is to shoot. And when I'm open, I take advantage of that. And my teammates gave me, you know, a good assist, and got to give credit to them, too. Lauren, just talk about the offense tonight. Uh, shot well from the floor, a lot of rebounds. Um, yeah, we just tried to take advantage of our size and everything and shooting outside. They were kind of sagging in the zone a little bit, so in order to open that up, you have to knock down shots from the outside and rebound to control the game. Were there any nerves uh, to start this game coming into Redford Arena? Um, a little bit, but the coaches prepared us well. We always come into a game knowing that, and it's always a new environment, so we had to get used to it, but eventually we settled down and did what we needed to do. Monty coach talked about the, their three-point shooting ability, and you guys kind of have to shut that down against pretty much Staples. Talk about the whole team defense. Well, we, again, like Lauren said, they prepare us well, and we knew we had to lock them down. Number 10, all of them could shoot well. So, I mean, we just had to get out on them and make sure we stopped their shots and tried to get them to force stuff <coughs> that they didn't, they weren't as comfortable with. Talk about your ankle. <laughs> My ankle's fine. I mean, <laughs> It hurt at the time, but like now, I'm just working out. It's, just, it's still a little sore, but I mean, I'm gonna get out there and play regardless. Hello. Good game, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Break the silence. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. All right. <laughs>
she's going to get tired real quick. Yeah. That was an overall We have with us now uh, Will Met Loyal Academy and Coach Jeremy Schinnaker. He's brought with him number 23, a senior forward, Kathleen Strelka, and a junior guard, number 41, Anna Schuler. Coach, if you give us your thoughts on the ball game, you'll take some questions from the media. Yeah, I thought uh, Edwards, uh, Edwardsville played really, really well. Very physical team. Um, and our uh, main objective was to keep them off the glass, and obviously we didn't do that tonight. Uh, and that's the reason why Again, you know, we lost the game by 17. You just talk about their length, that they have six players that are at least 5'10". Uh, yeah, 5'10 or more. Um, I think our uh, biggest starter is 5'10", um, and we bring a six-footer off the bench. But again, um, the physicality of them, I think, was the difference in the game. Just, you know, pushing us around a little bit. Um, and they weren't fouls. Um, again, just being more physical than we were. And unfortunately, that was something we talked about um, the last three or four days, and we weren't able to uh, contain that. Hey, Coach, talk a little bit about um, how you're dealing with the zone today, obviously not your normal defense, how you thought it worked. Yeah, you know, we played some 3-2, but that hasn't been our staple. It's been all man-to-man. -man. Um, and we were just really concerned with uh, number 34 and number 32. Um, and, and, you know, again, if you were going to front them, then it would be um, even harder to rebound, uh, depending on your backside help or cover down help. Um, and so we thought zone was going to be our best opportunity, our best chance. They came out and knocked down some threes, um, which then again, you know, didn't really force our hand right, you know, early enough where we had to change out of it. But then again, I think we scored four points in the third quarter, um, down you know, 15 or 17. And at that point, you know, they really forced their hand to go man to man. And Casey, you were down there in the trenches all, all night kind of dealing with that height. So talk about it from your perspective. Yeah, I think um, they were just a really physical team. And we didn't exactly play our game. We uh, let them set the tempo. You know, They were pushing it inside all night. And I think we could have run them up and down the court a little more. And, I'm just disappointed with our rebounding in general. And in an uh, offense perspective, obviously you guys do a lot of outside shooting in the perimeter game. Was it something with their defense or were shots just not falling for you guys? I mean, every shot we took seemed to be contested. We never, I mean, we got a couple wide open looks, but once again, our, we haven't really sh shot particularly well in the playoffs. And we, we hoped it would, you know, be different this game. But I mean, our shots didn't really fall this night, which is disappointing. Could have been a different outcome. And now, uh, got to come back tomorrow and then play in a third place game. What do you got to do to get ready? What do you got to do between now and then for the tournament? Well, I think we'll probably be up till about 2 o'clock in the morning again, watching film uh, as a coaching staff and, and putting together a scouting report for our players. Um, we'll meet in the morning um, like we usually usually do, um, then go through a walkthrough and uh, try to get our kids best prepared uh, to play Bartlett tomorrow night. Hey, Coach, uh, thank you, ladies. Thanks, thank guys. You. Oops, my pick.